Hello, sassy sleuths. Evie Bug here, and welcome to another episode inside of Nancy Drew Ransom of the Seven Ships. Where we left off, we just figured out who the bad guy is, and we also found Bess. Come on, Nan. That door's our only way out of here. Think. Excuse me, but nobody calls me Nan. That that makes me sound like a grandma. What it? What is your problem, Bess? My goodness. Come on, Nan. That door's no, our no, no, only no, no. way out of here. You can't call me Think. Nan. Uh uh. Mm -mm -mm. Anyway, uh, so yeah, so we have to find a key or something. You know, actually, we got a key from that thing that we just did, so let's try that one. Let's see. Key. Aha! Uh -huh. Alright, um, okay, what is this? <laughs> I feel like I recognize some of these things. What is this dude? Oh, he's, he's holding it. Oh, gross. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. Who are you? <laughs> um. Wow. Did someone put him like that, or did he, like, lay there till he died? That doesn't make any sense at all. Um, anyway, okay, have I looked at everything that we can look at? Looked at that, looked at this. What's this? What is this? Oh, there's a door. Oh my goodness, what? Um, okay. <laughs> Puzzle time, I'm assuming. Oh, here we go. Okay. Let's see. To the one who has entered here, you must now find your way out. Nineteen choices lie before you. A misstep seals your doom. Aged bronze is green. Iron rusts red. Cutout plates look like this. Okay. So if the bottom row has two or more cutout plates, then the keyhole that we need is not round. So let's see, if the bottom row has two or more cutout plates, so that's these ones. Um, it does have two or more cutout plates, so it's not round, is that what it said? Let's see, so not round, so I'm going to make a note that it's not round. Okay, so it's not round. Um, if the fourth column, let's see, how do, columns are this way, columns are vertical, rows are horizontal. So the fourth column from the left contains a wave pattern, then the key that we want is not in the last row. So if the fourth column from the left contains a wave. So one, two, three, four. It does not contain a wave, so we just continue, I guess. Uh, let's see. If the keyhole thing, or if the plate does not have two screws, then it is bronze. Let's see. So if it does not have two screws, then it is bronze. Okay, I guess I'll just write that down. Uh, let's see, if it is not the keyhole, or sorry, it is not the keyhole if the plate is bronze and has an empty space directly above it. So it's not the right one if it's bronze with an empty space above it. Okay, um, if it's this like two-wave thing, or sorry, if this two-wave thing is in the first row, then the keyhole doesn't have two screws. That is not in the first row, so I guess we disregard that. Okay, um, so let's see, if the skull is directly to the left or right of an iron plate, let's see, iron is red, um, so let's see, if the skull is directly to the left or right of one of the red colored ones, then it has a cutout. Oh, looks like it is to the right or left of an iron one, so it is a cutout, so I'm going to make a note of that on my little notes over here. Okay, so it's a cutout, um, Okay, last thing, if it has, uh, sorry, if it is a cutout and not bronze, then the plate is round. But I think we already ruled out that it's not round, so I don't think we have to worry about that. Um, so let's see, if it is a cutout and not bronze, then it has to be round. So that must mean that it is bronze, because you can't have two rules that contradict, that contradict each other. So it has to be bronze, I think, so I'm going to write that down. Okay, everybody, so we've got that it's not round. It, uh, let's see, if it does not have two screws, it's bronze. So let's see, if it does not have two screws, it's bronze. So, I don't even know. Um, let's see, if it does not have two screws, it's bronze. Maybe I'm getting too caught up on that one. Does that mean it has to have four screws? Anyway, it's not right if, if it's bronze with an empty space above it. So it has to be a bronze one 
but it can't be bronze with an empty space. And it's also a cutout, so it can't be this cutout, can't be this cutout. The only other cutout that doesn't have an empty space, I think, is this one. And it's bronze, so I guess we'll try it. Oh! <gasps> Oh my goodness, did it work? Seriously? Nancy, you did it! Come on, Bess, let's get out of here. Oh my goodness, I can't even believe that. The plane's coming. George must have gotten the satellite phone to work. Both you guys are amazing. George! Hey, George! Not only had George called the float plane company, but she'd contacted the U.S. Coast Guard and the police in Nassau, San Juan, Miami, and Havana. She even called the FBI, but they put her on hold. Anyway, while Bess and George waited for the authorities, I talked the float plane pilot into taking me up so he could search for Dwayne from the air. We soon spotted his boat about three miles from shore and radioed it in. But when they boarded the boat, the police found it empty. Was the boat just a decoy? Did Dwayne meet up with someone and make his getaway in a boat I wouldn't recognize? Or did he, while gloating over the map, accidentally fall overboard and drown? Unfortunately, it doesn't look like anyone will ever know for sure. As for the Gibsons, they'd been at a week-long family reunion in North Dakota and were mystified upon their return to find the resort overrun with police, government agents, and reporters. They didn't have a clue what had gone on in their absence. But they were happy about all the publicity Dwayne's escapade had generated and offered to let Bess, George, and me continue to stay on for a real free vacation. But we all said, no, thank you. The only thing that sounded good to any of us after what we'd just been through was good old boring home. All right, where was Johnny's driver li driver's license issued? I think it was Victoria, Australia. Yep, got it. Something sinister has been set loose at Waverly Academy. Someone, known only as the Black Cat, is terrorizing students, sending them strange notes, which are always followed by frightening accidents. The only way to unravel the mystery is to go undercover as a transfer student and enter the world of cliques and gossip that rules life at this exclusive all-girls boarding school. Help me uncover Waverly's centuries-old secrets and avoid becoming the Black Cat's next victim by joining me in my next adventure, Warnings at Waverly Academy. Unfortunately, that's the end of our series in Nancy Drew Ransom of the Seven Ships. I hope that you have enjoyed our journey on this game. Please leave a like if you did like this series. Tune in next time when we'll be playing our next Nancy Drew, which was requested by one of my amazing subscribers, Nancy Drew the Shattered Medallion. And we will be doing it with Facecam. Facecam will be coming back for that series. So tune in next Tuesday. See you next time. Bye. Oh, and by the way, if you want to see an alternate ending to this very game that we just finished, click on the link in the description and you will be taken right to that video. See you next time. Bye.